Hey, this is Aaron. And Blake, we're AB Data. Thanks for watching our Altrix tool demonstration videos. In this video, we're taking a look at the spatial match tool in Altrix from the spatial tools category. This tool allows us to establish the relationship between two sets of spatial objects, whether they intersect, one touches the other, one is contained within the other. Uh, so we'll take a look at the different match types and how they're used to the two inputs of the spatial match tool. So here, taking a look at this really helpful diagram allows us to visualize the different match types, whether it's the target intersecting the universe, the target touching the universe, the target within the universe, if their bounding rectangles overlap. So a lot of interesting ways to configure this tool and analyze our spatial objects. So if you'd like to follow along, we're using the example link from the spatial match tool. And the first example has us working with two data tables, the store data table, which we're going to use as our target input, and which is really just our store location, so it's just one record. And then the universe input are the 190 competitor points from the second data table. So the U input of our spatial match tool is gray. That indicates it's an optional connector. More on that in a moment. So we're going to connect our universe, our competitor points, into the universe, or U. And the T is the trade area around our store. So we want to see which competitor locations are within the trade area we've drawn around one store location. So here, after indicating the spatial fields we want to reference from each of our two incoming streams, the important drop-down box allows us to select the proper spatial match type, in this case where target contains the universe. And here we have an embedded select tool. So all the functionality that we love about our select tool, we can drop right into the spatial match and determine which fields we want to output as part of our process. We'll go ahead and keep them all. I'm going to add browse tools after so we can see how many records are flowing through each node. And it looks like of these 190 competitors, there are only seven within the trade area, which is a five mile radius around our store location. So here, exploring the results window, we can visualize where these competitors are on the map. All right. So the second example, we're going to leverage the universal file connection option. So we use the same data set for our target, so that same individual store location. But instead of having a data connection flow into the U, we're going to actually just use a file reference. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the file path from the input data tool for our universe or the competitor locations. And here we need to uh, just hit the drop down for the spatial object field and we'll see the tool refresh. There we go. And just like before, we're going to indicate that we want a spatial match where the target contains the universe. And let's go ahead and put a browse tool on just to see how many records are flowing through. And it looks like we've identified the same seven stores. So almost an identical configuration of the tool, but just the difference between using that optional gray incoming universe anchor. And the interesting thing about this tool is that we can actually switch the inputs. So for our third and last example, we're going to switch the target and the universe. So we'll treat the targets as the 190 points of our competitor locations and the universe will be our store location, the trade area around our store. And the main difference here is the drop down for the spatial match type. We're going to switch this time to where the target is within our universe. So lots of different ways to perform the spatial match depending on the analysis you need to perform downstream. Um, really very flexible in terms of which source you identify as your target, which one you identify as your universe. The nice thing about this third configuration is we'll actually have records pass through for all the unmatched locations. 
So on the output side of the spatial match tool, there's a M for matched and U for unmatched. And before we didn't have any records flowing through the U based on how the tool was configured because our trade area was the target. But in this case, with each competitor location as the target, we see the distribution of all 190 records, either to matched or unmatched. Thank you for learning with us today. Good luck on your Alteryx journey. For more information on custom training, managed service automations, and more, please visit our website at abdataconsulting.com.